In this video we show you how you can use a floor plan image as a blueprint to create a 3D building in our software. Start the software and create a new project. As a first step you can open the floor property dialog and edit the floor height, the ceiling, and floor thickness. For an easier handling we create another layer on which the floor plan image will be inserted. That avoids that the image is always selected by mistake while you insert our own walls, windows, and doors. The insert image function is on our 2D and layout ribbon. Start the tool, select your image file and draw a rectangle somewhere in the middle of the terrain rectangle you see in your 2D view. As you can see the image is now distorted, so open the property dialog and activate the maintain aspect ratio option. Now the proportions of your image are correct but it still needs a size. An image only consists of pixels and has no absolute size for our to scale floor plan drawings. We have to scale the image in order to get the correct dimensions. Select it and choose adjust scaling from the right mouse button context menu. Now the software expects that you define a known length to which the image will be scaled. This is typically a known length in your floor plan. Define the length with two mouse clicks and insert the value you can read out of your drawing or one you can measure in your property. Check the new length with our measure tool and repeat the image scaling if necessary. Activate your floor plan layer and start inserting your exterior walls. Set the start point of your first wall and edit the thickness and 2D representation, if necessary. Save your exterior wall settings as default. Toggle the wall sides with Ctrl plus W. Keep the Ctrl key pressed while you drag your walls in order to activate our internal angle grid. You should not exactly follow your floor plan image. Most walls are exactly vertical or horizontal, or should be. Follow your building contour, insert the correct values, hold the Ctrl key pressed. The last wall doesn't need a numeric value. Just drag it to the first wall and insert it. For your interior walls, windows, and doors please see our other training videos.